I am here to work on my design team project for KPA, Creative Paper Artisan. And this month of April, we are working with the digital kit called French Country Lilac. So you have those beautiful paper. So let's make the flip through of the kit with music. But the plan will be to make a smaller journal. This is my prototype. To prototype, so I have made some mistake, but I will correct it. But the basic part is that we will have a small journal like that, closing like so. Okay, we will have our signature attached to this spine here. And on the back of the journal, we will have a pocket which will open up like that. So from the bottom and the top, and it will open like that. And we will have a big spot here. So we will have some pocket inside. We will have some hidden spot. Uh, so yeah, I guess it will be fine. So, uh, okay. So, what I take for my base is a file folder that I had in my stash, and it's really a sturdy cardstock. So, it's a nice base for my journal cover. So, it's pretty uh, good stuff. And I have already prepared my mark to cut it and to save time, okay? Okay, so before to add our paper, we will then glue the, um, the pocket from the inside. So I cut two pieces of the same material of my file folder and I cut it at six and one eight to be a little bit smaller than my six and a quarter. Uh, cover, back cover, okay. So six and an eight by three. And I get two exact same pieces, six and an eight by three inches, okay. And for the little flap, I choose a lighter cardstock and I choose, I cut it at six and an eight by three inches and I score a line in the middle. Then I have one and a half inch of this piece cut in my uh, flip. And the other one here will be glued in my inside cover like so. Okay, so we'll have a flap here and the next one exactly the same at the top. So give me a minute. Okay, so I have taken out my Fisca paper trimmer, really sturdy, very happy with this one. It never disappoints me. My, um, file folder is too thick to uh, score it with my scoring board. So what I do to score my paper, my file folder, this is what I do. I put my ruler and I will help me with my bone folder 
come really close to my ruler. Don't move the ruler. Score it properly. Fold it. And then come with the bone folder and mark the crease very well. Okay, so I have my score line. So I will do the same for the second one. with my bone folder marking it putting down my fold and making a good crease with my bone folder so we have our little booklet base done okay So I have chosen my paper. I have put my non-sticky mat on my table uh, to avoid um, putting glue on my surface. I have uh, taken out my matte medium acrylic to glue my paper on my base. Uh, you can use a very good glue stick if you have it. Just uh, keep in mind to spread your paper out properly to have a good uh, adherence. Uh, but as I want to sew my cover for this project, I prefer to use my matte medium, which I'm very uh, happy about the cover. So I will first glue this on my front cover and I will cut my page in half. I have already cut the border. So I will first glue this one down here. Okay, so I will put my matte medium onto my surface. A nice coat. Be careful to go well over the edges. Okay. I'll take my paper and I put that right on my cover. Right in the edge. So I have this one here. I have printed this same page twice because one is not enough to cover everything for my cover. So I'll take another piece of paper. So as you can see now, I don't have my creases anymore. So I will mark my crease nicely with my paper again. So this one, then this one, and I will be gentle. And this one also. Okay. If I don't do that, uh, if I cover the two parts together before of making the crease, 
and the outside cover, then uh, it will be difficult to remember where to crease, okay? So, I will let that dry a moment, okay? Uh, you can use your heat tool to make it uh, dry the drying process quicker or let that dry naturally when you finish to make your first cutting, uh, when you take a cup of tea, everything that will be quite uh, quick. And then I will be back. Okay, so I have chosen this paper for my inside. And what I will do to uh, make my life easier is I will uh, put the seam of my paper right in the middle of my spine. Then I will have this pop coming from here and this one coming all the way, putting it. Uh, then the, you know, this, this edge won't be shown because it's on the spine, okay? Because it doesn't uh, match, the edge of this one doesn't match of this one. So um, you have to be smart and uh, you have to anticipate that, okay? And we have our booklet ready uh, to sew the signature in and to glue our little flap. So let's cover our little flap now. So that will go like that. That will go like that and that will go like that. Okay. So for this part. So I will let everything dry until uh, tomorrow. Our base for our little uh, journal box is already dry. So for today, we are going to attach our signature inside our um, cover. So as you can see here, when I cover my paper on this part, I had some uh, tear on the edges but that doesn't matter because uh, when I have inked around the edges, uh, I like this effect. I was thinking at the beginning when I see the tear that I could cover with some lace. So you can do that if you uh, prefer. 
but uh, I didn't uh, personally want to do that. So for now, I have already prepared uh, one of the signature with the hole in the middle. I will do a three pamphlet stitch. It's really basic stitch. It's really easy to do. So I will show you how I prepare my my uh, signature. This is uh, my paper, just fold um, basically. So I have to open my paper and I have to do that. But now I want the crease to be very well, uh, to be a very good crease. So I will come back into each paper and then I will decide how I want my paper to go. To come back and check for your paper where do you want them to go okay so I remove them this way and I will decide so this one I want it rather on the top this one will be full this one will go on the bottom This one will go on the top, this one much in the bottom, those are going like so, I put this one at the top, this one will go on the bottom. Okay, so when you are happy with what it is now, you will have to clip your paper with the big binding uh, binder clip. Okay, I have only four of the big ones, so I will keep this one on the side for now. And then when you have everything aligned, Properly. Sorry, I have uh, shaken the camera. Measure your cover to make your mark. Okay, so remember my cover was six inches long. So if I want three holes, my middle one will be at three inches. Okay, and I will have one at one and one at five. So that's exactly what I did here. But as my page are a little bit under six inches, I have just uh, find my middle, okay? So I have put the hole in the middle and then I have put uh, my hole two inches on each opposite direction, okay? So, now I have to make the hole in my cover. So this is a two signature journal. My spine here is one inches. Okay, so I have traced a line in the middle at uh, half inches. Okay, and then I have traced 
in both sides at a quarter of an inch. And here I have the place where I want my hole at the intersection. Okay, so to do my holes, I will use my big bites crocodile because I want to add some highlights. So let me see, I want the big holes. Okay, so I need to set up this. This is the big bite. And it's really cool because you have this long arm here and you can really go in the middle of your uh, page. Okay, so let's see. I put my hole just in the middle of my mark and the second one. Okay, so there will be uh, an half of an inch apart, my two signatures. And we have now our signature. Okay, so I will attach the first one. So I have my holes. My hole will nicely be on the same position that my hallet. For your thread, you can use uh, either embroidery thread you can also use a nice wax thread. Okay, that could be also a good idea. So I have embroidery, embroidery uh, floss here, and I think I will go with this color because it's nice with this one. Okay, so let's find the... Okay, so to know how many thread you need, there is a very simple way to do it. Is you have to measure three times the length of your journal, leaving a little bit of a tail at the beginning. So this is one, this is two, this is three. You leave a little bit of a gap here and you cut your thread and you have plenty to work with. Okay, so you take a needle. I really don't like to be uh, annoyed with my, to put my thread inside my needle. I'm not good at that. So I have this needle here, which is a bed needle and there is a big hole in the middle that you can take apart and then you can sew your project properly okay so i want my hole my um not to be on the inside so i go on the middle hole here and i will leave a piece of thread that I will catch. Let's see. Okay. It's nicely secure. So I have come through the middle hole here and I will come through the middle, the middle hole in my cover on my first line. Then I will go on the bottom of my cover. Putting my signature in place. And I will come from the 
outside of my signature to the inside. Okay. So as you can see here, I have my thread coming under both direction. Then you will skip the middle hole and you will go on the first hole of the signature and on the first hole in your cover. Then you will come back in the middle hole from the front cover to the middle of your uh, cover of your spine and you will go back through your signature in the middle hole. This is as simple as that, but ah, <laughs> good, good things. Be careful here. You see, you can see that I have cut my uh, thread here. So this one is cut up in my needle. So I have to be careful that that won't uh, be the case. So in order to do that, uh, what is the problem here? Okay. Okay, so you have to put your uh, tail on the middle here and pull it through and then you go on your hole and you are not catching anything okay so now you can remove your thread from the needle and you see i didn't lie you have really plenty of thread to work with it's really uh, easy and you just need now to pull through everything and you will pass one of the tail on the left side of your line here and one on the other side okay be sure that it's well secure that it's properly attached. You can now remove your clip because they are on your way to tie everything nicely together. Okay, and now put your clip back. Okay, you secure well, it's well attached, and now you will tie a knot. So I used to make two, three knots because I like it to be very secure. So I used to make three usually. And then you can decide if you want to add some, be some beads or if you want to add uh, some dangle. Or you can just make a little note, a little bow. Like so. And you can now trim the excess. Hmm. My note pull back. Okay, so I won't do a note for this one. <laughs> That's okay. You can cut the excess here. So you have now the first signature. If you want, you can add a little bit of glue here and let it dry. That will dry clear. And your knot will never be removed. Okay. So we have attached our first signature 
here and we will now make the hole in the second one okay so we will put our clip properly oops I didn't do a good job Not correct. Push the middle ear nicely before to put your clip. So on the top. <laughs> and two on the bottom. Ow! So, to make my hole, remember, I have to find the middle, and then I have to come one inch and one inch. So two inch apart from the middle. Uh, where is my ruler? It's here. Okay. this is a little bit less than six inches so my three inches is right there and then I put at five and at one okay here here See if that will close properly. So, up, up, and up. Okay, so I have to make the closure. Let's do that quickly. So, I have six inches. So, I will make a hole at two and at four. And I will go uh, I will go half an inch uh, this is half an inch no this isn't half an inch yeah it's half an inch and half an inch of uh, hmm. No, I said half, not quarter, half. Okay, so that will be from here to here, okay. Let's take my crocodile. <laughs>
so I'm done with the closure. I'm done with the lace here and with the lace here. So let's go for flip through of this little uh, mini journal in a box. So let's see from the outside how does that look. So we have our square. We, are, we have our spine here, very neat. And I love the blue of the tape, which was on my uh, file folder. So I put a ribbon here. I had a little uh, lace here on the top, on the front cover and on the back cover as well. So the ribbon, just go like that. It is glued here on the inside of the flap, so it won't move, it will just stay like that. I have burned lightly the edges, so it won't fray. It will be perfectly uh, nicely, um, easily to put it back to our highlight without any problem. So the side here open up and we have our signature. So as I told you, I didn't uh, embellish the signature for my uh, design team project uh, for creative paper artisans. I remember you. So all those papers are from the kit, all the cover and the inside cover. So this is one of my uh, amount leaf dyed paper. This is from the kit, which I fold up to have some pocket here. I have some Amazon packaging paper. This is from the kit. This is an envelope that I dyed with uh, beetroot on a pizza pan. And I have made a pocket here which I can put something. Here we have a little belly band. So it was a nice project and I will uh, work in this journal a little bit more. It's really nice and I really uh, love it. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. Please give me a thumbs up and leave me some comments and telling me um, if you like this mini journal in a box and i will see you in a, in a few days for another project